it's funny how like you could you would take lessons from outside the barbershop into real world when you start seeing things happening. Like for instance, like, let's take something prevalent now. Um, Kanye West. Like growing up, I think Kanye West. Like I idolized that uh, old Kanye. <laughs> old Kanye. <laughs> I idolized him because like he came from like I wouldn't say humble beginnings because he he had it. He was like a Inner suburban city. dude, but like he was just he was naturally himself. Like he right. didn't have to like act like he was something other than that because like at the time, a lot of times it was like well, everybody had like this idea of what it means to be like a black like a black male and like you take that on but you have a cat like Kanye who's like he's doing his thing he's weird yeah. don't get me wrong but he's wearing pink polo like he's just yeah. he's Kanye. The one thing I admire about Kanye and is he like spit. he doesn't care what yeah, anybody thing, thinks yeah. you know he's just doing him all the time no matter what you know people on the side or not so you, you don't think he cares what people think I mean, he, no, he I, I think he, he does to an extent. He does to an extent. He does to an extent. But like, extent, when it yeah. comes to like his craft and his music, you know, he's he always, care. you know, trying to take himself to the next level, and I like that about him. But what do you characterize as old Kanye? Like, are you talking about like first three albums? Yeah. Or do you put another album? Do you put, after graduation? I would say from college dropout to graduation. Yeah. But what, what came after graduation? My beautiful. 808's a heartbreak. 808's yeah. yeah. heartbreak. So that and was like my when beautiful he dark like, fantasy. Great. So that's he, like, dark is that is, is is fantasy? Is that still old Kanye? Nah. I think so. Nah, that's new Kanye. And so like when you talk about like old Kanye and this current Kanye, like what what do you think are the shifts? Right? Like why do we put Kanye as old Kanye and new Kanye? Like what what are those well, shifts? His sound. Well, for one, you, you also, know, I go off as weird. I think sound's important, but I think also. I think his impact, like his platform, his social impact, like yeah. he's just a different. When he changed from the, the Kanye that went on air and said, George Bush doesn't <laughs> care about black people, yeah. like it's now like kind of switching up, yeah. now aligning like himself with somebody who doesn't. Dinner parties with Trump. Yeah, who doesn't and, necessarily speak, in the right lights of like the people who was already speaking for. Right. So if you think back to the commentary on like those first three albums, yeah. Did, I mean, I know you talked about the sound, but do you think that what was in the music shifted as well? Like the lyrics, like lyrics, like like what he was talking about, like his social commentary, like in on college dropout. Definitely, yeah, I would definitely say that, like the content of his lyrics changed, cause like now he's talking about poopity scoop, scoopity whoop. Yeah, but I think, you know, back in 2004, he would have never done that, you know. What do you? I think maybe he would have though. But but why? But but why do you think he came out with that song talking about poopity scoop, like? Don't you think, well, I don't know. I can't can we, say can don't we you just think. Uh, first admit, that song bagged, all right? Does it not? <laughs> like, to listen, just to bump on it, too. The beat was crazy. Dude, yeah, yeah, but the beat was crazy. But, like that. Do, but do you think that he's making a critique on the culture, right? Because if you can come out with that, is he saying that no matter what I release, you're still going to buy it? Like, no matter yeah, what I release, yeah, you're going to listen to it. I think substance-wise, he didn't die off. I think he's one of the greatest minds to ever do it, period. Like, ever. I think he talked about that. I think people... And the, I think it was the point he was trying to make, and maybe I'm just gassing him up because he meant so much to me as a kid, but like, I think the message he's trying to make, people focus on like what, what's quote unquote like popping to do, like in the media, like what, like what he's, like it's easy to come out somebody and like critique somebody, but when they're doing work, like donating money or like giving like back to the community, nobody says anything. Like when he donated a bunch of shoes, he invested, like he helped, nobody like comes at him, like says anything about it. Right. And, like I think, Again, that, that, that deals with the shift. I think, like, taking the toll on, like, losing a parent, almost dying, and then you in the media 24-7 where some people are yeah. praising you and everybody else is, like, hating on you. Hating right. on you. Yeah. Like, you're, like, in the middle of everything. Like, where do you stand? So I think that mental health, I think mental, mentally he played a part. Yeah, like I mean, that. And, and, and that's part of it. And, and I think about, like, if, if you think about those who are considered, like, musical geniuses, right, yeah. there's always a thin line like in, in how they experience life, right? Yeah. right? Right. And so one of the, re the ways I thought that Kanye was a genius that was on, again, like the, the college dropout album, when the dude comes out with the song Through the Wire, right? Mm -hmm. And so he samples Shaka Khan Shaka Through Khan, the Fire. Yeah. And then he says Through the Wire, and he spits the song with his jaw, jaw wired, wired shut, shut, right? And so mm. when he did that, I was like, this dude is, is, is brilliant, right? Like, like to come up with that. And then you hear like the rest of the songs. So sometimes when I hear him speaking now, and then I go back and listen to late registration, I'm like, yo, this doesn't sound like the same person. Like when he comes out with, with, with crack music, mm -hmm. like what he says in that song doesn't line up to what, what, what he's saying now. And of yeah. course, you know, artists can grow. Yeah, but, but even, but you, at the same, you're an artist, like your, your job is to make music. Tupac drops, Brenda's got a baby. 
and then later drops what's it called? Uh, I get around. Like substance wise, he still he's talking. Why? Like, I don't I don't understand. Like I don't understand why people hold like celebrities or artists to such like a higher like standard. Because at the end of the day, they're still people. Like why can't I be like conscious but still like have fun? And like I think like you, you've got to sell records. And like sometimes yeah. you might just want to drop like drop something that people just like bump to. Like yeah. think, even some of the greats now, it's hard to be like. Wait, hold on. You said greats and now. What do you? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> greats now. But are it's you hard saying that they're great rappers now, or yes. are you talking about yes, the greats? Definitely. And you talking about the? Okay. Why you? Why you trying to play me? The greats now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> greats now. J Cole. Okay. Um, wow. It's hard to. <laughs> don't hey, play man. J Cole. To, to each their own. To each their own. <laughs> you, stop it. To don't don't start this. We're on Kanye. We're on Kanye right now. We're on that's, Kanye. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but but what do you what do you think about Kanye's vulnerability, right? Because the, the the stuff that he was dealing with, the loss of his mother, you know, people always talk about like mental health issues and Kanye and the fact that he shared some of these things, right? So what do you think about him as a black male being vulnerable, like in his music, talking about like mental health, talking about depression? I like, think what, he was very brave for being able to be transparent with his fans and his family with like his most recent, well not most recent, but like the album Ye, where he's talking about his bipolar disorder, you know, black people don't really talk about things like that, especially like on a, like a mental health, um, you know, issue that is, you know, deeper, or not deeper, but you know what I mean, 